What is going on MP Life people? Today we are going to share with you a recipe that might just be a little unorthodox, but it's gonna make you a hit at the next fish fry. We are making walleye cheek ceviche. So first things first, we need to do a little disclaimer. These walleyes were caught about a week ago. You need to freeze fresh fish at negative four degrees for seven days to make sure they don't have any parasites or any of that fun jazz. When you cook the fish, it usually you know cooks out uh, any potential parasites and things. So when you do a ceviche or something that's kind of a raw fish dish, you need to make sure, especially if it's a freshwater fish, that you hard freeze it first. Okay, so what I've got here are a pile of walleye cheeks that we skinned and are now going to chop up nice and thin and put into this glass bowl. So let's do that quick. The reason we're doing this first is because when you make a ceviche, no heat actually ever cooks the fish. It's cooked by the acidity of the lemon and lime juice. And so what I wanna do is get these pieces of fish in that acid as soon as possible so we can, well, eat it faster. And with this, the smaller pieces that you make, the faster it can cook as well. So if you keep the full cheek, you might have to put this stuff in there for a few hours, where if you slice them up nice and thin, give them plenty of surface area for the acid to hit, you might be eating this fish in an hour. All right, so there you have it, all done. So this is a really awesome recipe, but there's a small bummer to it, right? So you obviously have to pre-plan this thing. Um, it's a really good dish for the hot summer months because it's nice and cool, but you have to prepare, freeze the fish, and then you know bring it out where most fish fries are kind of spur of the moment. So um, this is a cool thing. If you wanted to get it prepared, you could put it in your camper, or throw it in the freezer, and just bring your ingredients, and you can whip it out on a 90 degree July day. Um, so what we have to do now is take this fish, I'm going to lay it as flat as I can in this uh, glass dish here and put the lemon and lime juice on top. And because it's so cool to watch this, um, I'm going to put a GoPro on a time lapse just so you can see the actual fish change. So let's do this. So again, we just want to get this as spread out as possible so there's enough surface area for all that acid to hit. We spent all this time getting this all nice so I could shoot a sweet thumbnail. Now I gotta move all of it because usually things that are functional aren't very pretty. Cool, so I have to give a little shout out to my buddy Tom Gates. Uh, about a year ago I did a catch and cook with some pike and I was using this wooden um, cutting board on a table and it was sliding all over the place and he told me something super easy. Wet paper towels, put them over the feet in the corners and cutting board stays. So thanks Tom. All right, fish in the Pyrex strainer because nobody's got time for seeds in their ceviche. And what we'll do is just cut them in half. I'm gonna use two and a half limes and a half of a lemon so that once it's done cooking, I'll strain off the juice that it cooked in, and then I'll use a squirt of the other half of the lime and the other half of the lemon just to season the dish. It's such a cool thing, you know. You know living in North Dakota, you don't really think of ceviche as being something that you're gonna have. So um, it's, it's fun, it's cool. You eat it with chips usually. It's a nice like appetizer. And I guarantee at most of the fish fries that you go to, people are never going to have had it before and they're gonna love it. Good, so we're gonna keep half of that lime. Okay, so that's the acid, that's gonna cook it. All right, so the time lapse is all set up. Now we just get a bowl and we start prepping the rest of our ingredients. So one thing that I like is some small pieces of carrot. Um, gives you some color, a little bit of, little bit of texture. And I promise you guys, I'm not a professional chef by any means, so do not judge my knife skills. I'm just trying to make stuff that tastes good and not cut my fingers off. So just a little of that. The cool part about ceviche is, honestly, you can make it however you want. Just gotta make it taste good. Next, we're going to cut, de-seed, dice up, Jalapeno. All right, so while we're prepping all these vegetables, 
and we've got some downtime waiting for the fish to cook. I want to do a little rundown of what to expect from MP Life over this fall. We have got a super busy fall ahead of us. Um, I drew a moose tag. I also drew a North Dakota Badlands mule deer buck tag. Um, all of us have deer bow tags. Um, two of the crew have deer doe tags. Oh geez, and antelope tags come out tomorrow. So who knows, maybe it's gonna be like an awesome year. With that, we love to pheasant hunt, we love to duck hunt. I've already got one snow goose trip planned and usually we get a couple Canada goose hunts in as well. So we are going to be busy, busy, busy this year. We're gonna to try to capture as much of it as we possibly can. The goal is to make at least one, but most likely two um, of the hunting trips that we have into like a film festival quality type video, um, just because that's pretty fun. Vlogs are cool. Uh, these little episodes of random things are awesome, but um, the artsy part of making videos is kind of cool too. So um, the moose tag is a very special one for me. Um, it's a once in a lifetime tag in North Dakota and I drew and we happen to have moose on the family farm for the first time that I can ever remember. So uh, that's going to be so cool. It's going to be an awesome, awesome video and I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, let's see what else. We want to go salmon fishing on Lake Sakakawea when they're in the shallows and I would imagine there's going to be a couple more walleye trips. So um, the socials are going to be crazy. We try to post something every single day on Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram yet, shameless plugs, right? Okay, we are jalapenoed. So basically we're making kind of like a pico de gallo with a couple extras in it. And it is going to be awesome. Oh, that fish is already starting to turn. That's sweet. So now, tomato, probably use a whole tomato and just dice it. Now the magic happens. Okay, so next, a little red onion. Red onion, beautiful. So some people like cucumbers, some people don't. Um, I'll put a bit in there just to kind of freshen things up and give it a little bit more hydration. Oh guys, that fish is turning out super cool. Now, some cilantro. My wife doesn't like cilantro very much, so I'm not gonna put very much in there. Me, I dig it, I think it really adds a lot to it, gives it like a little bit of a kick. Alright, so that looks awesome. Now I'm gonna go put this in the fridge because I don't want it to get all warm and such as we wait for that fish to get ready. Alright guys, while that fish, I'm gonna say cooks, while it cooks, um, I just want to take a second to talk about our socials. If you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, do me a favor, head over there and do that for sure. Um, like us on Facebook because that helps a whole lot. And if you would, please hit the sub button. Um, we appreciate the heck out of all of our subscribers on YouTube and we plan on putting out a lot of content in the near future. We have a pile of different hunting tags this year and with that comes a whole bunch of meat. And one of the biggest reasons why we hunt is to collect all that good free range natural organic meat. And I want to share the different ways that we cook it. So we're gonna do our best to share recipes just like this one. Some are going to be right after we get the animals. It's gonna be kind of catch clean cook style. Others are going to be, well, we're just gonna call it off the wall recipes that um, you'll surprise your friends with. And if you have a wild game cook off competition, you might just go home with the blue ribbon or maybe your wife and kids will eat it, which is way more important than a blue ribbon to me. So, all right, we are going to keep running that time lapse on the fish over there, and I will catch back up to you when it's cooked. All right, so here's the deal. It wasn't done, and I'm not about to eat rare walleye. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is put it back in more juice, back in the fridge, let it go all the way overnight, and we'll try again in the morning. Okay, so I just turned everything back on just to film a couple seconds. Wear gloves. 
wear gloves, wear gloves when you're cutting hot peppers. My face, my hands, places you don't want to know are burning on fire right now because those jalapenos apparently had some legitimate kick to them. It is going to be a long night. Oh, jeez. All right, day two, walleye's done. I've got the pre-cut veggies from yesterday ready to rock. Now it is mix and serve. So again, got all these awesome veggies, big pile of walleye, mix the darn things together. So there's a small, small bummer in this whole situation because last night, I would have had my wife try some of this with me, but since I had to wait till the next day, she's at work, I don't work until noon, so I'm gonna actually go out and shoot my rifle to get that thing all dialed in for the upcoming uh, mule deer season. And so I'm gonna bring some of the ceviche along, try it with my buddy TJ, who's doing all the rifle work for me, and we'll see how he likes it, because I know he likes random, awesome, delicious wild game food. Finish it off with the other half of the lime, the other half of the lemon. Now I got some Mexican sea salt. And for the last little bit, to cut some of the acidity, just, I don't know, about a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now check this out, this stuff looks delicious. So I'm going to catch back up with you guys as soon as TJ picks me up. Um, we're going to head up to the range to go sight in the 7mm and work on a new load. And while we're up there, we're going to have a little snack of walleye cheek ceviche. Right on. See you in a bit. Alright, so finally made it to the shooting range. We are going to work on this bad boy right here that's going to hopefully get me a moose. This is TJ. TJ knows all things rifles and he's going to make sure that if I miss, it's my fault and not the guns. And I got a nice lecture this morning about how I need to take better care of my gun because apparently there was fuzzies in places fuzzies shouldn't be. So <laughs> we are going to shoot a little bit and then stop and have a snack and show you guys just how delicious all that stuff we made last night is. So let's shoot guns. All right, so TJ, did we figure out that like we have a load now? Oh God, yeah. Okay, so what is, what is my load here? Oh, nice. 140 grain nozzler ballistic tip, Hodgden 4831, 64 and a half grains, Remington 9 and a half Magnum primers, and Federal cases. Oh, it's all written down there for me. Look at that. Awesome. So hopefully one of these bad boys right here is going to take me down a mule deer. Hopefully the moose gets done with, uh, with the bow, but if not, moose is going down too. Wear hearing protection so you don't end up being 30 years old and you can't hear out of your right ear and it sounds like you just got done with a rock concert every single night. Huh? Wear it. Right? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, TJ. Yep. <laughs> Okay, time to move my earmuffs down. Uh, and I was like, I don't have my earmuffs. <laughs> uh, remember what I said like a second ago? Man. Holy moly, dude, it hit me. I was like, <laughs> Okay, back to uh, back to shooting. God yes. Okay, well. Let's give it a minute to cool down. All right, well, we just shot a few shells through the gun. TJ's figuring out why I suck. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Snacks. 
All right, TJ, so here's the deal. We are going to have straight from Mexico, walleye cheek ceviche. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? All right, so got some spoons. Look at that. Ah, and some chips. I'm telling you, this stuff looks nice and fresh. And let's make it zoom on it. Oh, look at that. It's going to be good. All right, you ready for this thing, man? I'm ready. I'm going to imagine the jalapenos are going to have some kick due to the struggles that I had yesterday. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. That's like legit. It's good. Ah. The cool part about it is like if, if you eat anything in North Dakota, raw is not <laughs> the first word that comes to your mind. And so, again, you have to freeze it and you have to do proper care of the walleye so you don't get parasites and all that jazz. <laughs> I don't worry, I did that. <laughs> yeah, we're good. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> if you take like the, the precautions and do stuff beforehand, this will be a hit. Especially you go to every single fish fry ever and when you have the exact same thing over and over and over again, which is shore lunch fish, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. You come in with something crazy like this and it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone because I'm going to eat it all. All right, so we're going to keep eating this stuff and also keep shooting the rifle, get it all sighted in because it's got a job to do in not very long. We're gonna wrap the video up here with just a little bit of shooting um, and then we're out. If you like the video guys, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, give it a share and hit that subscribe button. Um, we are so, so thankful to have every single one of you guys that sub and we look forward to growing this channel so much more than we ever thought we could. So uh, until next time y'all keep living your North Prairie life.